Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It's Friday here right now, and we're up early. The dog woke us up early. I think, I think she rolled us up. She woke us up about six. It was six on the dot. There you go. And of course, Tiffany and I are like, uh, but better than like, you know, one or two in the morning. Also, we only fed her yesterday morning, right? And Tiffany just fed her now, and she's like, meh. So it's been 24 hours since she's eaten, but she's like, meh. Dog, I, the, I swear, the dog, I cannot figure her out. I cannot figure her out. Just when I try to, she like changes it up, throws a curveball. I don't get it. Baby, come eat your food. You gotta be hungry. Oh, oh. she's like, don't touch my food. Don't touch my food. There she is. Look, look, look. Don't touch my food. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, whatever day it is for you right now. Thanks for uh, clicking the thumbnail and saying, what's up? Actually, yeah, right now, in the comments. We have comments, by the way. The last week, it's been a week since the comment de debacle. We still have comments. Comments have not been removed on my new videos. Uh, YouTube did release an official statement saying they're gonna continue to uh, remove comments from videos with minors and even older minors, like teenagers. Um, and then they're also going to continue to remove channels that leave those bad comments um, and so they're still making the sweep across the the YouTube uh, with, uh, with the whole child predator uh, thing that's going on right now. It's, you know, there's people in the world just in general that, that you know they have issues and they want to try and spread those issues to other people, and it, it ruins the fun for other people, right? There's always that one guy, right? There's always that one guy at a party. There's always that one guy in, in a public uh, event that you know just ruins it for everyone else and that's what this is like now you know comment sections are being disabled across the uh, across youtube because of some some idiots you know so but i'm ready to drink some coffee T today we're trying uh a roaster's choice from king's coast as you, you can see they wrote they wrote it on the bag so this is a roaster's choice they do these roaster's choice all the time basically they get beans from uh other countries and they you know they make either uh, blends or just straight up single reserves. And uh, this is from El Salvador. It's a medium roast. I'm very excited to try it. And I'm going black, baby. We're going black, no, no creamer, no creamer. Should be, hopefully it's not hot, I hate burning my tongue. Ready, here we go. Ooh. Oh, see, I, I, I love, don't get me wrong, I love coffee creamers, you know, I love the flavors, caramels and chocolates and, you know, whatever, but I, I, I've never been able to enjoy black coffee before until King's Coast. No bull crap. Like I, I've been drinking King's Coast way before I was a partner with them. Almost a year. Actually, it's been over a year. It'll be a year now. It's been a year now. March is a year. Woo! It's been a year. King's Coast. An anniversary. Mm, that's good. Alright, so here's what it says. Cranberry, citrus fruits, and chocolate flavors. Sweet with winery fruit acidity and smooth mouthfeel. It definitely has a smooth mouthfeel. It doesn't have like a... At the end of it, there's some coffees like that. You know, you you, you you take your drink and you're like, there's something on the end. It's very smooth. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. So you have to do 35 divided by 28. Beautiful weather right now. It's uh, it's about 67, just say 70 degrees out. Took the dog out for a little walk. Fresh cut grass. The, the landscaping peeps are around the neighborhood doing the thing, so fresh cut grass, smells good, feels good. Dog agrees, she's rubbing her face. She's like on the grass. So I did a short little stream, an hour long. Uh, showed everybody the January 2019 Twitch Clips highlight video. Uh, homeboy Mashua, thank you very much, man. Made, made that for me, gave him all the clips. Uh, he's gonna be doing that each and every month, so he did a fantastic job, fantastic editing, way better than I would have ever done. He just, again, I'm an editor, I, I edit, but I'm so out of the game because I've been doing my vlogs for so long, I'm just like linear and, you know, I don't get very creative with the vlogs. He did a fantastic job. I'll have it linked right here in the cards. Go check it out, it is hilarious. Warning though, kids, kids specifically, um, there's a lot of adult humor in there. There's a lot of jokes that are not family friendly. FYI, my streams are PG-13 to PG-18. PG-18 is that thing? PG-17? No, rated, rated R. Yeah, my streams, my, my streams go from PG-13 to Rated R pretty frequently, so stick with YouTube. YouTube is family friendly, but if you don't mind that kind of humor, go check the video. It's very funny, uh, but I also say if you don't hang out my Twitch streams very often, you're not gonna miss a lot of the jokes. You're gonna be like, who is he talking about? Who is that person he was just referring to? Why is that joke funny? I don't get it. 
it's a Twitch thing. It's a, it's a chat thing. It's fantastic. And it reminds me of exactly why I do what I do. It reminds me why I love doing what I do. So many funny moments captured, so many great moments captured. And uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys being a part of it. So. Well, just wrapped up lunch and coffee with my mom. We went over to uh, Kiku Sushi, Revolving Sushi Bar over in Glendale. And then walked around the playgrounds, uh, like Fun Zone and Cafe, which I used to, if you guys remember, if you guys have been watching the vlog for a long time, I used to take the kids, me and Stephanie would take the kids here uh, for coffee and, and it's a playground, right? It's an indoor playground. And so we would take the kids in there and let them run around the playgrounds like that after work. Uh, it was also a place where Tiffany and I would like do the swap, because Tiffany always worked nights and I'd work days. And so it was like, we'd meet in a parking lot and just trade off, right? Hi, how was your day? Good, any, any updates? Cool, bye. And then she'd go to work and I'd go home. And so Playgrounds was a place that we'd, we'd go and we'd take the kids and that sort of thing. So it was like, we walked in the door and I'm like, is it okay we just get coffee and not have our kids? <laughs> and the lady's like, yeah, sure. So we sat there in the lobby and had coffee and whatever. But yeah, we had sushi and we caught up and it's been like, I don't know, three or four weeks since uh, I talked to my mom. I think the last time I saw her was at one of the kids' sporting events or something, but it's been a while. It's been good. I see my mom, I see my dad more often because he lives on he lives in my side of town. My mom lives in like the other side of town. So I don't see her quite as often. But yeah, good times catching up, good food, and now I'm gonna head out into traffic and get home to the kids. How is it? Oh. Good. So it's Friday for us, and of course that's when I do like my big grocery shopping. Just got home, unpacking, unloading, yeah, putting everything away. Kids just got home, and as soon as they come home, backpacks on and all. See that I replenished the candy bowl, the chocolate bowl, for Easter one. And Sierra's got a package, Sierra's got a package. What is it, Sierra? Volleyball shoes. Volleyball shoes. Finally, guys. I don't even know which one she got, so it's gonna be a surprise for me, too. Here we go. It's literally the only one I can find any store that are like a good color that isn't crazy and that are my size. All right, so we've got a Nike. The Nikes, for sure, for sure, for sure. The reveal. Ooh, I like them. Black, ooh, they're all black. Those are cool. Those are very cool. So these are officially volleyball shoes? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. They say volleyball inside. Plain. Very nice. Not as and those looks bigger. Not as not as cool as the blue, but it is what it is. Yeah, I need you new shoes. What size like are they? Nine. Nine. The last ones were sevens by accident. Right. And she wears a nine, I need ladies and gentlemen. Ones because the back of my shoes, like back here by the heel, mm -hmm. in the right one, you can see like the. Backing of the shoe, like you can see the white plastic or whatever, you can see it. And then the other one, there's like three holes going up. It's Those like are cool. Good. I like them. They look good. Good choice. Got big feet. Work out. How big? You, how, what size shoe do you wear? Seven. You wear a seven, so she's yeah, two sizes. Small. Your shoes don't fit me. I've tried. Yep. What you making? Muffins. Muffins. Oh my God! Round two blueberry muffins. Oh, <gasps> they smell amazing. They smell well, so amazing. Round one was a fail. We won't talk about that though. <laughs> How was it a fail? Did so, you burn them? So this is round three. And then round three. How, how'd no, you feel? the recipe was a fail. Yeah. Way too much flour. High five. I did exactly what it said, but it happened sometimes. I don't know. It was yeah, bad, top, bad top, Pinterest. Top. Yeah, yeah, they were really doughy, like almost like bread. Yeah. It's like bread. I, I said they could be scones. They're like scones. This one's a keeper. We've yeah. done it with blueberries and strawberries. It's yummy. They're almost like dessert. Yeah. And then you're making banana ones? I've made this one before, I think, or I have because it's on my Pinterest, so hopefully they'll turn out. Okay, okay. No, I'm scared. You're scared. <laughs> she was just saying how she doesn't have confidence in herself in baking. She follows recipes, but she doesn't know like more of this, less of that. She doesn't trust herself with baking yet. Cooking wise, she's she's got that. She's got she's got, got cooking down no, no problem. She knows what she can add and what she can't add. But baking, she's like <laughs> Alright, so Tiffany is done with the muffins. We have blueberry yogurt, same ones we've made a couple times, blueberry and strawberries, and then banana. They look amazing, look crispy on top, which I love. And then we didn't vlog this, but she made homemade mac and cheese with broccoli. Broccoli. I shredded cheddar cheese, so that's like shredded cheddar cheese, and then Traditional elbow noodles those and fresh broccoli. Huh? So they're not elbow. They're not? No. What are those? They're like, start with a C. 
Kappa something. <laughs> I don't Kappa know. noodles? Kappa Yo, they're Kappa noodles. Yo, we got Kappa noodles in chat. Can we get some Kappa noodles in chat, please? Oh, never mind. She was wrong. They're not Kappa noodles. They're Salentiani. Salentani. Salentani. Sierra has been working on The Sims, and then she was making a restaurant. And what was what's the thing called? Dine out. Yeah. Dine out. But she accidentally exited I didn't out. Do it. It was a stupid game. Oh, the oh the game did it. Yeah, like, I like literally was trying to exit out of the creative sim, and it exited the whole game on the whole computer oh. without saving. And didn't save it. So she. And yeah, this whole restaurant done it was like literally completely done, and I was just doing the final thing to like make it a restaurant and. It, I was telling her, I was telling her I've been there, like I remember spending all this time like making something in a video game, right? Like not even, not even like building stuff, but like just like setting things up, spending all this time tweaking things and then it doesn't save or it crashes, you have to start all over again. Like I've been there so many times. Or even like in a game, you're getting through a game and it doesn't save your progress and the game crashes or like you die and it doesn't save your progress. Like that is the worst. Ah, oh, such a waste of time. I feel bad for her, I feel bad for her. She'll do it again, it'll be faster, and it'll uh, be better. I, ha I have faith. And Bryce, Bryce is grinding Fortnite Season 8. I'm like creative right now. How's, how, how, how's the grind going with the, with the season though? Good. Yeah? He's back, back, to, back, to, back to controller, he's back to controller. And we're not gonna talk about Fortnite, I know some of you guys are tired of me talking about Fortnite, even though it's only been two videos, oh my gosh. Please stop with the Fortnite videos. Uh, it's relevant, it's relevant. It's season eight just started, so yesterday was about, hey, season eight's coming. Today's, hey, season eight was here. You know, relax, okay? We, we talk about what's relevant in, in our lives. Right now, this mac and cheese is relevant. This is real life. This is real life. This is real life. That's right, it's real life. Like, we're eating, this is our dinner on a Friday night. Exactly. We're calling this dinner. <laughs> I mean, I guess. It is dinner. Better. Yeah. I know, but there, it, this could be a side in my eyes. True. Friday, we usually tend to do something else. Oh, no. They, restaurants have mac and cheese as an entree. Yeah. 100%. You know what that's missing, though? What? Lobster. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. This is actually amazing. Super creamy. Lots of flavor. I threw a little um, ring of fire. Chipotle roasted garlic on it. It's perfect. Perfect. That's what the Italian you made the other night was missing. Like just some garlic, when I say I needed garlic, a little bit of that would've been perfect. Look at this, kids come running to the table instantly. Um, num, 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 num. You guys didn't have snacks. You had, a, you had like a little snack, but not really. You didn't have a snack, did you, when you came home? No? Oh, it was so good. All right, time to prep for the volleyball. We got an early morning, 5 a.m.? Ew, yes. 5 a.m., yeah. By six. So we are in charge of fruit snacks and granola bars, and then the muffins, of course. My extra. Yes, yes. Also, finally sold the gaming laptop, and I say finally because I put it away and I forgot about it, and I kind of, I kind of had it sold months ago, but the person buying it got busy. I got busy. Holidays, like this is all back in like December, right? And then just time slipped away, and we both forgot about it. And all of a sudden, it was like, hey. You still got that laptop? I'm like, hey, you still want that laptop? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, cool, I'll wipe it, so I'm formatting it right now, and then once it's formatted, I'll ship it off and we'll call that we'll call that a wash. It was uh it was a good experiment. I bought I bought a gaming laptop thinking that like when I traveled and uh, you know went to conferences and stuff like that, I'd stream with it and I brought it with me twice and never even pulled it out of the backpack. In fact, the most it ever got used was at her sister's house when we went to Texas. I did stream what two times? Two times when we were there for a week. It was still fun, we played PUBG, it was, it was a good time. And I did game on it two other times not streaming. I just brought it with me like at your mom's house and somewhere else. I gamed on it a couple times, but just, I don't know, I'm not, I've never been a mobile gamer. Same thing with my phone, I never play games on my phone. It's like, I'm gaming, I'm gaming, and I'm, you know, that's what upstairs is for. Like that's, that's like, gaming's gaming, but it's still like work, you know? I don't know, I've never been a mobile guy, so. Plus I got the backpack now, so if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna travel and, and stream, I'd rather do IRL. Walk around the city, walk around the event, IRL stream, definitely over gaming when I'm on the go. So we'll sell that laptop and we'll use that to go towards equipment upstairs. I need a new monitor really bad. I've been getting a lot of crap lately about my frame rate. I'm like, why are you only this frame? I'm like, my monitor sucks, I'm sorry, don't shave me. Uh, we're working on that, working on, a, on some PC partnerships. And at the very least though, this will go towards a new monitor and a couple other goodies for the stream. All right, winding things down. It's 8.45 p.m. Tiff's hit the couch with a glass of wine. Just gonna catch up, chill out. Probably go to bed after that. Bryce is still doing Fortnite. Sierra's gone upstairs to probably play Fortnite as well. I just got done editing this vlog minus this last clip. And I'm probably gonna go upstairs and play a little anthem. Again, not too late. I got 5 a.m. 
She'll probably be up at 4 or 5 a.m. actually. It takes longer to get ready. and wants to make sure everyone else is ready. <clears throat> so I'll get up as well. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you had a fantastic Friday. Tomorrow, Sierra's got volleyball. So three games. So tomorrow we'll have some volleyball in there. Um, but because it's a morning, it means that our e afternoon and evening will be free. So we'll be back home and have a Saturday night to ourselves. So stay tuned. Check back tomorrow for that. And blog on.